All right, guys, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And uh, let's begin with these missions. So thank you for tuning in. Another part, another episode for for this series. Just um, I just got done um, playing Armored Core 6. Uh, you know, making another video. And uh, now I'm playing this game. So, yeah, it's a beautiful day to play some games. So let's get right into it. And then um, let's, go, let's see if we can go find a mission. First, I think we just gotta do two things or like one thing. Last, last time I checked, yeah, we gotta go to Hosea Matthews. Kind of wish that there's fast traveling in this game, but there isn't. It's all about you know experiencing you riding the horse through the wild, through the roads here, or not the roads, but you know these pathways. But yeah, let's get there. And once, whoa. You know what, what I like about these type of games, like RPG games, not only that you're going... Yeah. Hey, oh, wait, hold up. Help me! My horse died and I'm stuck here. Uh, you gotta help me, mister. I, I got to, I got to. How about we skip the small talk, eh? <laughs> you son of a bitch! No way. Ain't no way he tried to trick me. Oh my god. He's trying to run away with my horse. Where's my beautiful horse? Come here, man. Where are you? Come here. Shh, calm down. Calm down. This guy is trying to trick me, guys. Holy shit. See, I was about to say something like that. Like, on your way to your mission or whatever you want to go, like, that's what's gonna happen. Like, someone's gonna ambush you. Ambush you? I don't know if I said that right. Ambush you. Like, trying to trick you, really. Okay, I can't go to the red territory because I think that's black water, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, but, like, dude, like, people are. There's people crazy in this game. Like, they're willing to steal your money. That's why you gotta be really careful. It's life, really. Alright, so. So, I'm a little. I'm a little blue right now because the way that's in my camera set up, but. Bear with me for that. Let's see if we can get to Hosea right now. Here we go, Hosea. It's an interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by uh marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Uh, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I love <laughs> it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> By marriage. I'm gonna steal everything in there. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Get back really? on the horse. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Alright. Um, go to Car Midi. Uh, is that right? Car Midi uh, Dell. You could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. 
Come on, Hosea. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Easy. All right. Tapping A in time with a horse gallop will stop his stamina from draining. I'm assuming we're going to be um, going to stealth this. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Obviously, they didn't make, in the 1800s, they didn't make, like, stealth weapons. <laughs> Other than using a knife. And a bow. And a bow. That's it. Bow and arrow. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Shit. Did I grab? Okay. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back for my, um... Okay. Let's take a quick look at the place. Actually, you know what? Maybe just... Wait. Maybe just... I, I wanted to go get my bow. Okay. Um, how you use the monoculars? There we go. You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? <laughs> no, do it now. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. All right. I reckon we're ready. Let's go. Maybe uh. take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Shit. Okay, here we go. Um, sneak up to Carmine Dale. I don't have a bow, so I'm gonna do my very best not to use my my weapons other than my uh, knife. So, sneak up to Carmine Dale. But they don't hear us. Shit, so I gotta look in the uh, windows, right? Oh, are you sleeping? What the hell is that sound? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, someone's sleeping in there. I can go inside if I want to. No one's inside. Bro, like, there's like no security around this house. <laughs> we gotta be, we gotta appreciate like the stuff we have around our house, like for, you know, like security wise, for alarms and things like that. Because right now these people didn't have anything like that other than like the law or like the sheriff. Okay, so I guess we can go inside. All right, so what? So sneak up to. Okay, I gotta sneak up to him. See if we can open the door. Rob the house, $45 worth of items. Okay, so I see a brandy here. I think we can grab, right? Or no, bourbon. It's a bourbon. Kentucky bourbon. I don't want to make too much noise, you know? Alright, I'm not going to go in that room because I think, I think that's where he's sleeping. Grab a carrot. For, definitely for our uh, horse uh, meal. Right, let's go upstairs. I believe it was upstairs. Shh. This I don't remember doing this mission. Okay. Shh. Oh my god. Okay. There's. I don't think there's anything here. Maybe we can keep looking around. I think. Oh my god. $45 is a lot of money. I think back in the day. So it gotta be like, what, a couple hundred dollars in, in current uh, currency? I gotta, I gotta check the, the chest here. Can I check the chest here? I don't think so. Alright. Let's go, let's go. I'm leaving that plate, um, that open.
Not too bad, not too bad. Can we open this? Yeah, I could open up the chest upstairs for some reason. Money clip. Nice. Yeah, I... Okay, wow. We're almost to $45, guys. Here we go. Oh, baby. We got something here. $55. Let's get it. Alright, we're good to go. That was easy. It's just, I didn't ch um, check the... Oh my god. <laughs> get on, dear boy. Get on the stage coach. All right, return the sta uh, uh, stagecoach to uh, Emerald uh, Ranch. There we go. You just got robbed. <laughs> Fifty-five dollars of stuff, mostly money. Selling your money, going down the beer room range and won't. Yeah. Yes, way. They were drinking, so. The better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember doing that mission, guys, when I was playing this long time ago. A few bits and pieces, nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. Yeah, I, I think I. Hunting a thousand pound grizzly, anyway. Yeah, true. No doubt. Facts. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Exactly. And how long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. No, I think we've learned our lesson there. And a few other lessons besides. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. All right, here we go. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. By marriage. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Why is Megan an... Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? I like that mission. That was pretty good. Uh, yeah. Let's sure. do it. Sweet. And now, I think they'll give us a new mission now, because that was the last mission. I don't see anything else on the map. So, we're on our way back to the camp. So, hopefully, we get closer to the all new missions. They're going to be, like, popping up right next to the, or in the, uh, the camp. So... Holy shit, so dark. Holy. Um, so. So, it looks like we do have a letter there. I don't see any other missions on the map. So, let's go to the yellow symbol there. Um, also, I'm actually gonna get like a little cut. If I can do that right now, or shave, a shave. Because he growed out his hair pretty quick. Ah, uh, look at sleep. All right, cool. Um, shrimp. All right, um, chin, all facial. All right, there we go. Nice trimmed. Change of clothing here. What kind of outfits we have here.
Change the um change to here. Change to that clothes. Okay, there we go. Looking good. All right, let's take a look at the uh Dear letter. Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. <laughs> I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Oh, shit. I forgot that, um, uh, that she, uh, had like a girlfriend, I'm assuming. Oh man, looks like we're gonna meet up with our girl, or it looks like we're gonna meet up with our girl. I don't know if it's our girl yet, but you know we're gonna meet up with Mary. So uh, let's go to um, Valentine. Where's my hat? Best coats hats. All right, hey, I'm burning up here. All right, all right, here we are. Valentine, just gotta find uh, Mary. See where she's at. I do have to like uh, get more ammo or better better weapons or something like that in the future. I know they have a gun store here. There they are. This way. So detailed like with the for it, uh, the destination path. Gosh. Uh, where's Mary? So let me um take a, get rid of this waypoints and then go right in. Loved once and true. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. A visitor, maybe? No, not a caller. A booty caller. <laughs> oh, shit. Hello, Arthur. She's up there. Mary. Uh, no. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um, where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Seems like that. Okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. <laughs> my money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Oh, that's right. for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough. 
to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. I think I, do I make the decision here? Will you help me? Oh my gosh. It makes no sense. Like, obviously, the obviously, I mean, hearing the story that the, uh, her family doesn't like Arthur. And then now, like, oh, we got to save the family. Like, what the, f like, she's using us. <laughs> she's, this, this woman is using us. I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't want to be a bad person. I don't want to be a bad person. I'm sorry. I'm going to say no, because, because that the family treats him like ass. He, uh, the obviously Mary didn't give him a chance or at least do something about it and still get married without even the family's approval sucker for love really man but damn man i i guess maybe i guess we should help him out you know what let's let's help out mary you know what fuck Please. it let's help out mary where is it somewhere out near carmody <laughs> dell i think the rancher there said he'd I seen there. him around the cumberland forest i just want him back arthur if you find him bring him to me at the station i'll see what i can do i'll owe you big time you already owe me. Yeah. There we go. So I was going to say no. You know, the way because of the family not doesn't like him. But now we got to save a family. You know, save a, somebody from the family. So, um. Let's go to. I, th I thought we were just there, right? I'm not quite sure. Alright, so we're going to go to Mary Lou. Or Mary Linton. Mary Nice, your help. Uh, bring. So we're gonna go here. I don't know what's gonna happen if I say no. I mean, what? I think the uh, there there will be no mission, or unless she just forces me, like you know, to save uh, her brother. But I'm not quite sure about that. I never took that route. I always took the route of helping uh, Mary. At least the first time I was playing this game. So let's go and uh, let's go ahead and help out Mary, or Mary's brother, Jamie. All right, we should be very close to this uh, mission. See Jamie's up here. I remember this because we, got, uh, we went up on this mountains and then there was like a bunch of cult people and like wearing I don't know. I totally forgot. I mean, I remember like where we're going, but I totally forgot what what they uh, where were they wearing. Probably performing some type of ritual up here and shit. Oh my god. Here they are. And what is Chelonianism? No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Shell safety. Shell safety. These guys are morons. <laughs> Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Oh, there he is. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Impatient, undecided. I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. So do you really want to do this the hard way? Oh shit! God damn, lunatic. Oh man! That's enough, Arthur. Kid, come on! I killed him. <laughs> You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? 
better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now, let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. Not a chance! Uh... I can't... I just... I just... Leave me alone, Arthur! Chase F... Holy help. shit, he's quick. Maybe I should have apologized to him and uh, right, pick the right answers. Damn, we gotta do this the hard way. Yeah, my bad. Maybe I, I should have done this right. Here, I'm gonna <laughs> lasso his ass. Come here. Sorry. For Christ's I, sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. They're I don't think I. Using you, telling you what you wanna hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? <laughs> These guys are just chilling, and I'm like trying to chase uh, chase down Jamie. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is, is he is he going too fast, bro? All right, he's slowing down, slowing down. Come on, come on, come on. I'm pressing A like crazy right now. Come on, come on. Uh, I don't think so. Sorry, mister. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends. This guy, those guys are older than you, man. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? You'd be hanging around with the wrong crew. Oh shit, is he shooting? What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with him? Oh, shit. Oh, my, my, my horse is out of stamina. Holy, I don't know if I can cap up, catch up to him. Oh my god. Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. Yo, take it easy, man. Shit. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Oh, whoa, whoa. Just calm down. Leave me alone. Oh shit. I slowly press RT. Got it. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know enough about it. Just say it, man. Well, one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. A long time ago, son. Yeah. All right, right back to Mary with Jamie. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? Chelonia, what's that? What is that they shit? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. Silly money. <laughs> I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one Probably day. Probably a bunch of fakes. Because that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. 
Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, <laughs> I guess. Apples? Really? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of... Like fishing? Or horses or yeah. Something. <laughs> All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same. <laughs> Hester. Sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. Here we are. Must be waiting inside. Alright. Come on, pal. We going in then. Yeah, we're about to. Yeah, guys, this will be uh, our last mission. I don't think there's any more missions after this, but uh Maybe a new chapter? Let's see what happens. Taking forever. Quicker, I might run off again. Bro, I'm trying to get inside of the building, but the game's not letting me go any more faster than that. There he is. Jamie! Jamie! Come home! Please! You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home. For you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. She sounded like it was her, his, her uh, oh, Arthur. His mother. Shit. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. She's beautiful. Man, Arthur is such a, such a gentleman. I've you're, gentleman. Oh, you'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. Mission complete. We love ones and true. Guys, thank you for watching. We're gonna give me something. Fuck, who's saying that? Um, yeah, we're, this will conclude the. Uh, to relax, dude. Like, I don't think we have anything else other than we got like one mission. Where'd it go? Where is it? Is that uh, Hosea? Or is that John Marston? Oh shit, John Marston. Yeah, we'll do that for the next um next next time uh guys thank you for watching it's getting close to the one hour mark to to the recording um it's always been a pleasure like once again I i'm gonna say the same stuff it's always been a pleasure to play this game it's not a lot of fighting it's a lot of like what the hell is wrong with his neck <laughs> so yeah it's not a lot of fighting not a lot of action you know it was just chasing you know sneaking mission that's it but um hopefully the next one will be more interesting so Bro, I'm broke. Say I'm broke. I got $128. <laughs> Won't play. 
Um, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care.